Hey guys, so today we're gonna be making some Justice Bay cakes. We got Bat Bay and Techno Bay, Speed Bay, Wonder Bay, Aqua Bay, and last but definitely not least, Super Bay. I'm really excited for this movie. I hope it's not trash. I love the characters, I love the actors, I love these cakes, so let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is bake your cake in your cake pan. The cake can match different aspects of the characters or you could just pick whatever cake and color you want. Now all of my videos are environmentally friendly which is why I'm recycling all of this footage. <laughs> These are the exact same cakes that I used in my Thor video. I didn't want to reshoot it again so I'm just using it plus one cake. You can find the printout I'm using in the description box and all of my templates are on the Quali Pops Facebook page. I'm just using a paring knife to cut out the shape and then remove all the excess pieces to reveal a beautiful beige shape. I'm just going to cut this cake in half so I can fill the middle of it with some buttercream. Remove the top layer and then place the bottom layer onto my cake stand. I've got some buttercream in a pastry bag. I'm just going to squiggle it into the middle of the cakes. Then using an offset spatula, I'm going to smear the frosting to cover every inch of the inside of the cakes. Add on my top layer, took my IKEA pair and knife, and then started to carve away at it. I'm just going to round out the edges of his head so his face has sort of a dome shape. I keep saying IKEA because I hope they'll sponsor me someday. My goal is to have them ask me to make an uh, IKEA Swedish meatball cake. <laughs> I think that'd be so funny. <laughs> Don't take my idea, okay? That's my idea. Okay, you can have it. That's fine. Take it. Make a good video though. Now I'm just going to cut away his body so that you can differentiate all of his different limbs, his, his arms, his belly, the nubs that we're calling feet. I'm going to give a shout out to 100% Soft. Bay cakes would not exist if they weren't for him. Now I'm going to cover each cake with some buttercream. Again, just repeating the process with all of the cakes. I placed all of my cakes into the fridge to chill and then I turned on some Netflix. Can you guess what I watched? I was watching Stranger Things. Yeah, your cakes only need to be in the fridge for about two hours, but my cakes were in the fridge probably for like 11 hours because I watched the entire second season of Stranger Things. <laughs> Once I was finished watching, I took my cakes out, gave them a second coat of buttercream. Now this isn't a complete second coat, this is kind of just a fix it coat. I just used some buttercream to fix all of my problem areas where I carved away too much or I didn't like the shape that I created. I'm curious, if you guys watched Stranger Things, how long did it take you to finish the entire season? Did you do it the way I did, like one sitting? And did you also like forget about all of your chores and your responsibilities for those 10 hours the way that I did? I started to draw my first character, Wonder Woman. I'm excited to see her because I already have a connection to her since the first movie was so good. Now after I finished drawing her, I placed a large piece of skin tone fondant onto my cake. I'm just going to push the fondant down towards the bottom of the cake and tuck it under. And using some different fondant tools, I'm going to push the fondant into his arms and armpits. I want to make sure I don't lose all of the definition of limbs. Give her a neck? Not really, she doesn't have a neck. None of these characters have necks. Now after I tucked all the fondant into the bottom of the cake, I took my X-Acto knife and just cut away the excess pulled away the extra pieces of fondant. And then with a little bit of magic sauce on the back of each piece, I started to apply her uniform. Now the hardest part of this cake was making sure that I was happy with the red and the blue. Sometimes I'm terrible at creating colors, so this took me like three or four tries. After I rolled out all of my fondant, I allowed it to sit for like three hours so that they'd be easier to cut out. These pieces are super small and I wanted to make sure that I got the detail on them just right. I'm not a patient person, you guys, but I waited the three hours that were necessary. Now to create Wonder Woman's hair, I just took the cake off the cake stand and then laid down a large piece of brown fondant. Isn't that super easy? Place my cake on top and I started to place more brown fondant on the top of her head to create the rest of her luscious locks. 
And when I placed on her headdress, that's when I got really, really excited because this was the first Justice League cake I created that day. And instead of creating these cakes slowly, like I told myself I would, I just powered through because I wanted to see all of the cakes finished. After I applied the last piece of brown fondant, I went to work on her face. Give her a smile, two eyes, and some lashes, y'all. Because as much as she is a warrior, she's a cover girl. And voila, Wonder Woman. Let's move on to The Flash. So when they announced Ezra Miller as The Flash, I was really excited. I've seen a lot of his movies, Perks of Being a Wallflower, we need to talk about Kevin, The Stanford Prison Experiment. That movie blew my mind. I knew he was gonna bring something very unique to the role. Now after I finished drawing The Flash, I covered my entire cake with a large piece of red fondant. Again, just pushing in the fondant towards the bottom of the cake, creating a separation in his arms and his head. Used the knife to cut away the extra pieces of fondant on the bottom, and then pulled all of that mess away. Now let's create his suit. I love that he created his own suit. And it's the same material that's used on the space shuttle. That is kind of incredible. I made my own suits too, but they were made with paper plates, which is the same material to create paper plates. <laughs> I think my uniforms look sick, but you know, haters gonna hate. Again, it had to sit out for three hours so that when I cut it, I got the same amount of detail as the drawing. Now, I think if you're gonna recreate this for like a birthday party or a client or something, you should probably make it bigger. I'm making them smaller because I've got an apartment-sized fridge and I'm only allowed one shelf. <laughs> now, there's other people in this apartment and we have food in the fridge. Now, the flash symbol is probably the hardest part of this cake because it's so small and I wanted to make sure that I got all of these lines just super straight. Now let's work on his face. I place a piece of skin tone fondant to create where his mask ends. Placed on Flash's eyes and voila, we got the Flash, the Speed Bay. Now let's move on to Cyborg. One of the most interesting things to me about Cyborg is that his suit is almost completely CGI. Because during filming, he was just like wearing sweatpants and sweatshirts and they're just gonna place the suit on him in post-production in the computer. And it's great Cyborg, I covered him in two different pieces of fondant. I covered his body in a gray fondant, and then I covered his head with a skin tone fondant. And using my fondant tools, I did the separation, and then using that to cut away the extra. You guys have seen this twice already. And then I started to apply all of Cyborg's armor. Um, this time I actually tried to apply magic sauce to the cake as opposed to each piece of armor. I don't know why I did this, um, but it doesn't really matter. You can apply magic sauce wherever, as long as you apply magic sauce. Wait, did I snap? How did this go again? There. <laughs> and this cake especially is where you really want to make all of your pieces set so that you can create crisp lines. I wanted all of these edges to be very distinct because Cyborg is wearing like robotics armor. So you want to make all of the pieces of fondant look robotic-licious like. I use that word, I did. <laughs> if you notice, I'm using two different grays to create Cyborg's armor. The bottom layer of gray is two shades darker than the top piece. This really highlights more of the armor and gives it more depth. After I finished that, I gave him his life force, that T-shape. Is that his life force? I think so. That's what comes from the mother box, right? And then I moved on to his face. Now I'm using some black fondant to create that hairline. It must be Fresh Cut Friday because that hairline is on point. And I'm using some dark gray fondant to create the cybernetic side of his face. Now all of the details on that cybernetic side are going to be created with a lighter shade of gray fondant. And then I'm going to add on his two ears. Are these ears? Um, they could also just be bolts like Frankenstein, you know? Or are they ears? I don't know. After that, I added a regular eye with an eyebrow that's on fleek and a red eye on his cybernetic side. Then finished off his helmet and voila, cyborg. Looking good. 
Now let's move on to Batman. I love Ben Affleck as Batman. I love that little smirk he does like Batman where he's like... Uh, I don't, I'm very sorry, that does not look anything like Ben Affleck's smirk, but that like little sideways smile he does is so... Now they did change the suit up quite a bit from the Batman v Superman one. You know, the tactical suit that he's wearing has so much more detail. After I took my cake out of the fridge, I actually applied two bat ears using some Rice Krispies treats. Now I glued those on with some butter, but, but the cream butter cream um, and then I covered the entire cake with some black fondant now doing the exact same thing I did blah 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 actually I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes Now, when I do these cakes I want pulling the fondant to look like it was super easy peasy so what I do is I take time to pull away the fondant once and then I push all of it back in and then with one swoop I pull away the fondant like that. You only see that version so it looks like it was easy, even though it takes a lot more time. This belt is my favorite part of this cake, because when I wanted to be Batman when I was little, I would just constantly think about what I would have in my utility belt. I'd have a knife over here, some throw-in stars, my Pokemon Game Boy, Pokemon Red, yeah? Maybe like a nail filer so I could give myself like a mani pedi if I was bored. <laughs> the most interesting about shooting these videos to me is that I'm taking video footage for about 8 to 10 hours and cutting it down to one single minute. One minute! That's all I have. <laughs> Thanks, Instagram. After I finished with his chest, I added that iconic Batman logo. Added some white pieces of fondant to get his eyes. And then used some more of that gray to emphasize his cowl. And then a little mad mouth. And voila, the Bat Bay. Now let's move on to Aquaman. I'm really excited to see what Jason Momoa is going to bring to this character because I think the way he's portrayed in the movie is such a departure from the way that we're used to seeing him in the comic books. He looks nothing like the Arthur Curry that I'm used to seeing, but that's like in the best way possible. Um, I can't wait to see what happens in the Aquaman movie because Jason Momoa is just working it on screen. <laughs> um, did you guys watch him on Baywatch Hawaii? I loved Baywatch Hawaii. Now to create this cake, I covered the body of Aquaman in a leaf green, like a mix between a leaf green and an army green. And then I covered his head with a skin tone fondant. And then I uh, did the, the fondant things, blah, blah, blah. I'm bored of this part now. Let's just move on. Now Aquaman's suit has a whole bunch of scales, so I took a fondant tool that looks like a C and just created a whole bunch of scales on his entire body. After I finished that, I placed on his chest plate and then I created the rest. To create all the detail on this, I'm using a mustard yellow fondant. It's supposed to be gold, but this is like cartoony version of gold. You know, I think Wonder Woman and Aquaman have the best reimagined character design. This looks flippin' awesome. The only thing I will say I think this needs is a cape. I think he would look bomb with a cape. I would definitely want to visit Atlantis. I'm curious about how they drink alcohol there. Maybe they don't drink alcohol? Maybe I don't want to visit Atlantis anymore. How about that? <laughs> now once I created his awesome uniform, I used some brown fondant to create the sides of his hair. And then I took some more brown fondant to create his hairline. I wanted to give this more detail and I didn't want it to be flat so I'm just using brown fondant to give his hair some texture. I'm adding two extensions to make his hair a little bit longer. And then I moved on to that beautiful rugged face. I added his smile, then the sides of his beard, then I added the middle of his beard, and then added his Aquaman eyes. Jason Momoa's eyes in the movie are just like mesmerizing. I also like that one of his eyebrows is cut. I think that was a very, very awesome detail. We've got one more character to go. So let's create Superman. Now this is probably the easiest one to draw because I didn't think that there was that much detail to translate into this cartoon. Now I'm curious about how they're gonna bring him back because he pieced out in Batman v Superman. 
Um, but I'm glad he's coming back because I love Henry Cavill. Sometimes I don't believe we're the same species. Gosh, that guy is such a specimen. I'm gonna need to be friends with Aquaman. I'm gonna need water for all this thirst I got going on. Now after I finished drawing him, I covered his body with a navy blue fondant, and then I covered his head with some skin tone fondant. I love that with these cakes, I created a whole bunch of different colored skin tones. It really shows how diverse this cast is. It's so cool, I hope they add an Asian. I hope they add an Asian. <laughs> that sounded so ridiculous after it came out of my mouth. And let's move on to building Superman. Now instead of adding some more fondant to create detail, I'm just using some fondant tools to create some detail lines. Now with the Superman uniform, I wanted to make it look like it wasn't bulky because Superman's suit is really like form fitting. His suit really does accentuate all of his assets and he's got quite a few assets uh, and I finished this suit off with a little buckle detail and then the Superman logo and then I forgot to add some detail for his cape I added some black fondant to the top of his head to create his hairline then I'm gonna use black fondant to give it some more definition you know, I didn't want it to look flat and I wanted to make sure I was able to add that curl that curl is definitely one of his assets. I, do, I always wanted that curl too. How do you do that? That is the saddest curl. After I finished that, I gave him two eyes and a cheeky smile. And voila, Superman. I finished them, you guys. It took such a long time. I'm definitely gonna be making more of these bake cakes because I just love the process. I love sitting down and drawing them out and then watching these black and white images become like fully realized cakes. And I love spinning them on the cake stand. It's so much fun. Now all these printouts can be found on the Facebook page so you can recreate this cake for your son, daughter, client, make them. Now I'm very torn about who my favorite Justice League character is. I'm curious who is your favorite. It could be Flash or Aquaman or it could be Wonder Woman. She's got a lot of street cred. Now if you've seen the movie, I'm curious. What did you think about Captain America showing up at the end of the movie with the Ninja Turtles? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did that actually happen? I don't know. Now, if you want to see more bake cakes, I created three of my favorite characters from Thor Ragnarok, as well as Spider-Man and Baby Groot. Um, I'm thinking about doing Eleven from Stranger Things because if there's anyone who's Bay, it is Millie Bobby Brown. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you check out my entire DC playlist in the description box or at the end and hit that notification button it's here right i know it it's down here i post pictures in the community tab as i'm creating cakes so you are constantly in the know i love you guys i will see you very soon peace